Welcome to my new series, which is going to be a Minecraft uh, playthrough. <laughs> the settings of this world, the settings of this world are different from a normal world in this world are immediate respawn is off, it's on, respawn radius is zero, and keep inventory is on. But other than that, everything else is the same as a normal world. So, so, before this part of the video goes on forever, let's create the world. So, this is the start of the new world. I spawned in a savannah very interesting. So, of course, the first thing you do in any single, any Minecraft world is punch down a tree. Of course, this, this takes a bit. Of course you can't leave of course you can't leave a floating tree. <laughs> and then you craft it into wood. And then a crafting table. So now we properly started this world. I'm going to do a craft a wooden pickaxe. Which then I can it's now I'm going to go on the first mine trip in this world. After I get my crafting table. <laughs> really close to a cave and it looks like a really good cave but i'm not going to be exploring too deep into this because i have no torches yet so the first goal is to get stone and coal and that's probably all i'm going to do today in in this bag so If you heard your background sounds, that's probably just some uh, talking, so just don't listen to that. This is actually a pretty big vein of coal. Hope I can finish this by the end of the day. <laughs> I think this is the final block. Okay, I'm going to mine quite a lot of stone. I am definitely going to get spawned at Dripstone Cave later. Probably not in this video, but in a later video. Oh look, there's some coal hiding under the water here. Collect it before it goes down to the bottom of the cave. Mining underwater takes a very long time. How do I just avoid mining in the water by doing this? Am I just making this worse? Maybe. <laughs> and now that water's blocked, then I can mine this much quicker. Actually, it's not that much quicker. Another thing for vein of of coal.
and now I'm going to mine that barrier I created before. I don't want to waste any cobblestone. And now my pickaxe work, so I'm going to be going back to the surface. Now I'm out the cave, and I'm probably going to need to get a bed, and maybe build a shelter tonight if I don't have enough wool. And that's the first two sheep. If they both drop wool, we might be able to think we might get enough, enough wool for a bed on the first day. That's not really, I don't usually get a bit at the first day, so this is going to be a unique world. So now all I need to do is find one more sheep. Look, it, was, it wasn't even that far away. One more sheep. Wait. I think it's time to set up a bed and maybe a small base because why not? So, we don't have to support base. So, and we have a bed already, so this is a pretty good start to a world. I hope in the next few videos we can build a much better base. And also maybe even get diamonds. And even never white. It seems to be starting to go sunset. And this is probably going to, and this is probably going to be the end of the first video. So, we're going back to my base, and now I'm going to be just crafting a few more things, such as a stone pickaxe, and that's all I can really craft. So, that's going to be it for this video, this was the first day, and now we'll see you in the next video.